What is up guys, it's Mike Ichimaimo here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now it's 1am so I'm gonna try to keep my voice a bit down because people have to work tomorrow. However, welcome to my Gothic 1 playthrough, The Path of Balear. Um, I've already done this entire old camp but uh, my mic was <laughs> buzzing all the way and um, can't have that one so I have to redo it which fine it's gonna about take about two hours but all the quests in the old camp except for the arena fighting will be done as well as the old mine so without further ado guys let's begin where do you think you're going to the camp you ain't come to make trouble have you Diego says I'm to meet him in the camp Okay, in you go then. It's quite a lot to redo since I was doing the entire camp in one shot. It took me about two hours and ten minutes, something like that. Um, Same you know, it wasn't get it time, but things would have gone very different. I am new here. Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was thrown in with the load before you. Wasn't very clever. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you, somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's, that's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, you'll be with us. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. I better keep It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. I want to work for Gomez. Oh yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the Ore Barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Sounds to me like the mages are your problem. Yeah, but they're a problem that's hard to solve. A few years back, one of the shadows tried to stab the high magician of the Circle of Fire while he was sleeping. They found him later in the Outer Ring. In fact, he was scattered all over the Outer Ring. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. 
What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Where can I find Mordred? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. I don't care how you do it. I'll take care of it. Let's talk with Diego. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. What about the two other camps? The two other camps split up to pursue their crazy escape plans. There's the new camp in the west of the colony, where the mages think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And then there's the sect loonies in the east. Their camp is in the middle of the swamp, and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. Now, if you want to have a, a specific a playthrough, a specific camp that you wish to see, the new camp is uh, the path of Adonos for me, which is the first run. The uh, sect camp is the path of Venus for me, which is the second run. And uh, this one is going to be the old camp, and thus the path of Beliar. Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here? But you've only just arrived. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, You'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left, and you'll be heading for the arena. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. Where can I find the old mine? Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. Can you teach me something? Yes, I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Take care.
somebody, you're in trouble. That's how it goes. Now, if you wonder which quests will I specifically complete, make sure to check the description as well as uh, use the quests as a searching engine things, you know, so I will use it as game tags, basically. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Where can I find meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage laying around. You should be able to find some at the deserted huts near the castle wall. Don't get confused by their ugly looks. Once cooked, they are tasty. Where can I find hell mushrooms? If you leave through the south gate, that's the collapsed tower. You'll see a plane directly in front of you. There's mushrooms growing there. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. Okay. Alright, so let's waste the 10 learning points into a lock picking because I'm gonna need it to get one of the quests done, which is a recipe for a healing potion which I have to steal from Korkalam for Dexter. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you'd better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. Now, sneaking you can learn from Cavalon. I'm not gonna need sneaking and... He can't teach me anyways, so uh, uh, I'm gonna pick open locks because like I said, I will need it for one of the uh, quests for the old camp. How can I improve my lock picking skills? You'd like to know that, wouldn't you? It's not too difficult to begin with. Above all, you have to make sure that your lock pick doesn't break off. If you're a little bit more patient in future, you'll see that you won't need that many lockpicks anymore. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Yes. You've learned something which makes you quite useful to us. We can make use of skilled thieves in this camp here. You'll have my vote. Jolly. I've got his vote. What do you do? Let's talk with Scatty. Hang on. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters, you know. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp. But business is business. Let's quickly get out of my way, man. 
Hi, I'm new here. You don't say. Tell me about the outside world. It's been over a month since I heard anything from outside. I'm Kurgo. I fight in the arena. Are you good? At fighting? I haven't been doing it for long, but I've already won a fight. I'd like to challenge you to a fight in the arena. What? But I don't want to fight. Why don't we just have a beer together and talk about the outside world? Okay. Give me a beer then. Here you are. Thanks. I'm afraid I can't tell you much about the outside world. They kept me locked away in a dark hole for almost two months before throwing me in here. That's a shame. Oh well, never mind. Hey, you're still looking pretty good for someone who's been locked up for two months. I'd like it to stay that way too. Then why do you insist on fighting one of us? I want to get acknowledged in the camp. By Scotty, you mean? Hmm, he's one of the most influential men in the Outer Ring. You might be able to impress him by defeating me. But if you really want to impress him, it's Karim you need to beat. Only thing is, I'm afraid he might be too good for you. If you still want to fight me, let me know. But I won't enjoy knocking you out cold. I'm gonna do the arena part before I will join the actual camp. Um, which is about episode 4, I think. Uh, most likely. But uh, it will be done nevertheless. But I want my character to be as prepared as possible. You know, before challenging the arena. So let's get Neck, well, his corpse. missing guard he needs the amulet for a sly one of the uh, influential people of the old camp What are you doing here? Don't often get visitors up here. <laughs> Very clever of you to find my hiding place. 
What are you doing here? Oh, I'm fed up with the old camp. I had trouble with Gomez's folks. That was some time ago. I guess nobody remembers that now. But I'm staying here. There's too many blockheads running about in the old camp for my liking. Now this was the previous save home where I completed pretty much every old camp quest but uh, then I found out that the mic was a uh, buzzing so fingers crossed because this is gonna take me about two hours um, so I can overwrite it basically. It's a shame but uh, it is what it is, whatever it takes. whatever it takes to beat this game one more time well one more afterwards but that's the hardcore run which will be uh, quite tricky to unlock at least it requires something like 100 likes probably 100 likes in gothic's case skyrim's case eventually well that's gonna require thousands but <coughs> Skyrim has won lots of hours and to attend vanilla races which will eventually be done perhaps you know um, currently my PC cannot handle recording of Skyrim at least not that well so I can't play Skyrim which is too bad but you know at some point I will be able to upgrade my PC hopefully and uh, go to some more games you know but uh, the main reason why I'm doing this is uh, just to make sure that people know. Hey, you! I don't think I've seen you here before. No wonder. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. You're only safe inside a camp. But then at least people know, you know, that uh, I beat all paths in Gothic, in Risen, in Skyrim, in Morrowind, Oblivion, any of them. Ah, new face! What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just ten ore, man. It ain't much to ask. And what do I get out of it? While you're in my district, I'll protect you. If you get into any trouble with the guys from the new camp, or if one of the sect loonies gets on your nerves, you can count on me. If you have bother with one of the diggers, we'll help whichever one of you has paid. It's as simple as that. And what if both have paid? Then we sit back and watch the show, but that don't happen too often. So basically what you can do, you know, in order to get Mordrak out of the camp, is uh, pay this guy. Wait till he's standing exactly on this spot. Threaten Mordrag. Mordrag will kick your ass. And because you pay Jackal, Jackal will kill him. And that got the quest over with. But um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. What if I don't pay? Hey man, don't stress yourself. You're a newcomer. Take a look around. Collect a bit of ore, and when you're ready to pay, then pay. You can do it anytime. But don't count on my help until you've made your contribution to my expenses. I'm sure you'll understand. I'll see you later. Just you take care of yourself. That wasn't very clever. Because uh, the, the option that I always take, you know, going with him to the new camp is a more XP rewarding and a lot easier. You know, so in my opinion that's the best option, but if you want to do it speedrun style, making use of Jackal is the way to do it. Maybe you have to. I doubt that's ever likely to change. The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. 
So far, he's just talked to us in visions, but now it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe you're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the best fighters among us can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. The best of the Templars receive the gift of magic as well. You see, our Brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. Who's the sleeper? The sleeper speaks to us through dreams and visions. He has been leading us ever since he first made contact with Iberian five years ago. All the followers of the Brotherhood have renounced the three gods. We pray only to the sleeper for salvation. Salvation from what? From this goddamn place, of course. The sleeper will show us the way to freedom. What did the sleeper tell you? He guided us to the swamp, to the old temple ruins. That's where we built our camp. He gave us independence. None of us need to labor in the mines. He showed us what swamp weed can do. We sell it to the other camps, and in exchange, we get everything we need. And he gave some of us the gift of magic of an old and powerful magic which is different from the one the magicians of the realm use. Stop eating like a horse, Dexter. Right? Stop eating like a horse, Bugger. Tell me about the magic of the sleeper. This gift enables you to control things with the power of your mind. Only the gurus of our brotherhood have been initiated into the secrets of this magic. I'll let you go. Hey, please. you! I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? Later. Next time, don't interrupt me, my friend. What is swamp weed? New here, are you? You can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh, you're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam, quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Kalam. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Kalom is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. Maybe I'll have to pay for the recipe. Give me 50 ore as an advance payment. Forget it. No ore, no recipe. Well then, we can talk about the ore as soon as you have the recipe. Always negotiate, my friends. Always negotiate. Okay, I'll see if I can get the thing. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. Where is the sect camp? Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got one here for 50 ore. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. All right, let me first do other quests that I can do in this particular area. Hi, I'm new here. How's things? 
Go away. I've been working my ass off in the mines for the last two weeks. And what for? Some sad lumps of ore is all I got. I had to spend most of it on food. I talked to Ball Parvis down there. He told me some interesting things about the sect camp. I think I'd better go there instead of slaving away for Gomez. You don't like it here? Why don't you just go then? Because I'm not quite sure what to expect there. I had a pal here. His name was Melvin. He headed off to the sect camp a week ago. But since then, I haven't heard of them. And as long as I don't get a message from him, I stay here. Okay. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Is that a threat? On the contrary. It's an offer of friendship. Beautiful offer of friendship. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Hey, you! Now what? The time's just... See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Put the... Hang on. I hear you've spoken to Bloodwind. Why? What do you want? It was real cool of you to refuse to pay him protection money. It means we're all gonna have to pay your share as well. I'll make sure you remember next time he asks you. Try that again, and you'll regret it. Ready, you're gonna take my ore. Thanks for the ore, you hero. Ready. You're gonna, you're gonna regret that one, my friend. Not now, but you will soon regret it, nevertheless. Just to think you, because you waked me. Doesn't mean I will pay my protection money to that son of a bitch called a bloodwin. Keep the ore for now, I will be back for it. Dumb piece of shit. He's gonna so regret it at some point. Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you need to know. Did you ever consider that I might just run off with the ore? Don't forget, the colony is small. If you run off with my ore, I'll find you. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. Don't worry about man, I got ya. Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. Hey man. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. 
That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. I bet that I did. What a great deal. Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it, and now hurry. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever, you do me a favor and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. You too, man. Even though you're a bitch creep, what? New here, are you? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. I found Neck. Good. Have you got any evidence for that? I found this amulet on him. Here you go. It was actually the amulet the whole thing was about. You're a clever guy. You might have had the idea to keep the amulet yourself, but you've made the right decision. If Diego asks me about you, I'll vote in your favor. Thank you. Much appreciated. You shouldn't believe everything I Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually, I take 50. 50? Give me the map, man. Give me the map or I'll take it. Hey, be cool, man. I don't want trouble. Here, take the map and leave me alone. Good man. All right, so let's search for a Fletcher. I'm going to avoid Grimms now because uh, he's going to have a quest with a hidden amulet. Of some sorts, it's gonna be a scam, but he will try to kick me ass nevertheless. And for that, I need a bit of one-handed capabilities. I have the things you wanted from me. Good! I just have to add them, then the stew will be ready. Wait. I'm waiting. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. Sure, but there's nothing left today. Come back tomorrow. Seriously, man. No more helping for you. Hey, you. If you want to get rid of your protection money, you've picked the wrong day. Yeah? Why's that? Because I'm not here. Oh? Where are you then? I'm actually at the castle. Sitting by the big campfire, drinking a mug of beer. I see. Do you know where Nex got to? No, and I'm not likely to find out. If anything, the diggers in this district might know something, but diggers don't talk to guards. Especially not now they know I hate this filthy work. 
I bet they're laughing behind my back. Why don't you just collect some more protection money? Nick did his rounds before he disappeared. There's not much left to collect now. It's about Nick. Yeah? I think I've found him. What? Where is he? Feeding the rats. Oh, no! Damn it! That means I have to run the show here now. I was hoping he'd be coming back. Now I have a problem. What's the problem? I'm in debt to Scatty, right up to my neck. Now he knows I'm doing Nick's job. He'll be coming around every day. Yeah, well, that's your problem. Complain that one. Oh well, it's, it doesn't say it's completed, even though I found neck, but that's fine. Not enough ore to train my one-handed capabilities. So let's go to the sect guy, the novice of the sect slash novice of the sleeper, a member of the Brotherhood, and let him guide me to the sect. I can get the recipe and go to the new camp old mine and uh, get that quest done as well with forest and getting more drag out of the city without the need of violence. Yeah, en enough smoking man, I understand that you smoke. I understand it very highly. Take me to your camp. I want to have a look at it. Very good. I'll go ahead. Follow me. Sure thing, man. Now, the only reason why I do this is so that I can get some uh, free XP along the way. Um, normally, I would take it when I go to the sec camp or more drag when I go to the new camp to do the questing there. But uh, in this particular playthrough, the playthrough of Belia, I will make sure that you know, old camp has, is one giant episode, the new camp is one giant episode, and the second camp is one giant episode, and then episode four we're gonna, you know, choose the side, which is um, going to be the uh, Magicians of Fire, slash guards, slash water mage, slash necro. Because as soon as you enter a circle six in this game, you be instantly become a, a necromancer, which is the main reason why I kept it for my Beliar only playthrough. Kick his ass, man! <laughs> Just let him do the killing, he will take care of himself, and if he dies, which is very unlikely, but if he does, then so shall it be. Well, he should be fine. Meanwhile... I'm gonna loot the buggish. <laughs> All I am doing is being the diversion. You think you can handle those uh, those lizards? I'm gonna try to kick those lizards off. No, no, not in the mood. Okay. Where the hell did 
did that wolf come from? He surely surprised me. nearly at the uh, sect camp now we're gonna go back to the old camp complete the quest you know with Dexter and, uh, and then we will go to the um, to the new camp and get first to the old mine so I can get Ian's list complete all the quests there and uh, then show the list to Lester which was normally going to be part of the uh, new camp quests, you know, but since I'm doing per region, you know, old camp, sect camp, new camp, in separate episodes, the integrity of it, um, I must have, and I must do that, that one, you know, uh, just mere for the XP. Here we are. Down there lies the camp of the Brotherhood. Go through the gate and speak to my brothers. I'm sure you haven't come here for nothing. Ask for Kor Kalam. He's in charge of the novices and tutors. I'll go back to the old camp. There are still many infidels who need to be guided to the right path. Good luck. You don't say, my man. Greetings, stranger. You're treading on holy ground. This is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What brings you here? I'm new here. I wanted to have a look at your camp. Strangers are welcome here. But it's important to follow our rules. There are certain areas strangers may not access. Now I will avoid less than now. But, uh... Let me get the recipe from Korkalom and uh, afterwards I'm gonna return instantly to the old camp, complete the quest and uh, go directly to the new camp with Mordrak, get him out of the camp without any need of bloodshed. People always and, uh, have to watch uh, deliver Ian's know. list to Laris, and um, then afterwards, pretty much we're done, you know. And well, still have to do the stolen amulet thing, you know. But that's fine as well. All right, so here goes nothing. I have to resave here again, you know, in case I uh, fuck it up with the lockpick. I only have one at the moment.
find somebody? Maybe. Some people never learn. It's obvious that there'd be trouble in it. Hi, I'm new here and I'd like to get to know the camp. Then you've come to the wrong place. Since the Templars started preparing for the fight, we've been busy day and night. I don't have much time for questions, so don't disturb me, unless you want to buy something. I'd like to trade with you. Good. Here, these are the weapons I have available at the moment. Let's talk about something else instead. 1500, okay. Let's talk about something else instead. Some people never learn. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's people always talk. I can miss one or one. Help me keep out quite it. a bit with uh, one purchasing gear to um, getting my 100 capability to a level one of two, you know, so that I my character will not wield the one-handed weapons anymore with two hands, which is just a beginner's mistake, you know. If I if someone would give me a one-handed weapon, there's no way in hell I would wield that weapon with two hands. To make you slower instead of just handling it like it should. If you're wearing a two-hander, then yeah, you have to wear it with two hands, but not a one-hander. Maybe. Rely on somebody, and you're in trouble. The what? I almost forgot. The main reason why I came here was not for the smithy but for the recipe and I nearly forgot it which is uh, a relatively good thing that I didn't Karma. Uh, that item means that I have to reload to the previous chest, which is at the smithy. Uh, yeah, and overall it's faster. You know, otherwise I have to go uh, back to the new camp, um, old camp, purchase some more lockpicks and whatnot. So, uh, my apologies. That does mean, however, that uh, 
have to also redo the weapon crafting. Which I will do at the old camp, no problem. That won't happen again. I do need the ore though. At least I need about 50. Hi, I'm new here and I'd like to get to know the... Listening to all the blabbering I'd like... Go Some people never... There's obviously there'd be trouble ahead. Thought that had been cleared up ages ago. If you think. Hmm, that wasn't very clever. Maybe. If you think. I will do the crafting at the uh, old camp, but uh, I uh, terribly fucked it up with that chest. But, you know. This time I will not forget to save, because uh, it's a bit of a knockback bomb. In the end, you know, uh, those weapons will be traded for uh, pretty much anything, steel or anything you can imagine. So let me save. Good thing that I did. Yeah, not going so good at the moment. It instantly breaks. Normally it's like, you know, one or two tries before it breaks. But, get it. Alright, so now since I have this, you know, and can't make a dire mistake in that particular arena, Let's go to Fortuno, get my daily ration, and then head back to the old camp. What have you got for me? Here! Take three rolls of swamp weed. It's northern dark. Good stuff! You can have more of it every day. But if you want more than your daily ration, well, you need to pay. If you find berries and herbs on the paths between the camps, you can bring them to me. I'll buy them off you. I do, however, need quite a lot amount of ore for the armor, so... I will craft the weapons again, so this is gonna take some time again, guys. My sincere apologies, but um, I'm only human too, you know. So this is gonna take again a while.
Alright, so that were the blades finally. Alright, so let's go to the back to the old camp. Like to be in his shoes though. And uh you know, get it over with. And then go to the largest part, which is going to be the old mine. It's not gonna be that large, but uh the travelling to it alone would take some time. I will also do other things in the meantime to get myself Maybe. some uh, nice amount of uh, money into my pockets, in this case, or, um, well, I will most definitely need it, that's for sure. Let's talk about... What we basically have to do, you know, is uh, get Ian's list from the mine, do a bit of a couple of side quests, like uh, luring Aaron away, get his chest key, loot a chest, talk with Yulbert, lure him away, get the storage shed key, loot that shit, you know, it's not really quest related, but it's still supplies which you can use to gain ore. Um, and then I have to get that list, show it to Loris in the new camp. Not because it's a must, um, but due to the fact I'm completing all old camp quests in this particular video, and that includes the Ian's list. Um, and the only reason why I'm going to show it to Lara's is whether you show it or not, he will raid the cargo. He will raid the supplies which, you know, the people in the old mine are asking for. Um, whether you show it to him or not, and if you do show it to him one you get bonus XP um, Which is about 400 XP I think which is nice and You also get a couple of Food supplies, you know for totally for free a couple of beers food. I'm not quite sure what you get But it's quite useful nevertheless, you know but uh, 10 learning points Maybe I will level up if I deliver the, the list to Dexter. Then I will quickly go to uh, Sketchy to learn the proper handling of one-handed weapons, which will make the fighting a lot more easier. Um, and thus I have to be rest reliant on my companion, a Mordrag, and, um, which is all the better. Let me first do that one, then deliver it to uh, Dexter. And then quickly talk with Mordrak, let him guide me to the new camp, go to the old mine, complete the quests there, show the list to Ian, and then return here to complete all the quests, except for Scatty's approval, because I want to see, one way or another, if I manage to uh, beat the arena with a certain amount of strength, which I can maximally get with this, uh, you know, with this playthrough particularly, before joining an actual side, you know, because at some point I would join the old camp. Clever boy. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. That's a good decision. Before you can improve your technique, you'll have to learn how to hold the weapon right. Beginners often tend to hold one-handed weapons with both hands. Now, don't even start getting into that habit. It'll do you no good. Hold the weapon with one hand, blade up, and keep swinging it. You have to learn to harmonize your weapon's swing with your own movements. That'll make you faster in the attack. If you keep in mind what I've taught you, your fights will be more elegant and a lot faster in future. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some hits cause more damage than others. As a beginner, you don't stand much of a chance making critical hits. But the further you progress, the better you get. 
which basically means you know normally if you hit a crit you will do the maximum amount of damage which your strength has you know um, as a beginner which I am um, semi beginner you know because 10% is max so it's uh, actually semi you know walking totally the wrong direction but um, you know since I am a kind of a beginner with one handed weapons one hand in particular especially two handed um, landing critical hits is insanely hard and uh, even with 10% it's gonna be insanely hard to land crits where I have that issue the most with particular builds like um, the mercenary I had issues with the swamp sharks I believe um, and with the sort of Dovinos I had also issues with a couple of beasts you know because 10% is nothing you know so it still has 90% chance not to crit, which is um, interesting, and that's where the strength counts in. You know, the more strength you have, the more likely uh, you land, you are willing, or accept. The more chance you have, the better your, the more chance, the more strength you have. You know, the better your chance to crit. Damn, that took a lot on out, a lot of out of me. God damn it. I have the recipe you wanted. Very good. Show it to me. Good. Now I can produce the potions myself. You are a good man. I'll tell Diego about it. Here you go. Take that for your efforts. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. Right, so let's make some ore. Lots of ore. which means I can buy uh, the light digger trousers what that guy's sneaking off I oh, I just wanted to trade god damn it oh well all right so let's uh, get my ore back hey Where is that bugger? Hey, you! Looking for trouble again? So you think you're one of the wild boys, do you? Why don't you try it with me? You wanna get whacked? Alright, if that's what you want. Why have you torn me from my dreams? Because I can. Alright, so let's go with Paul Perez to uh, the... Uh, Paul Perez with uh, a more drag to the new camp. And uh, uh, get that done as well. Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. Now basically all three paths have the option for you to get for free access to uh, the magicians of fire and thus to allow you to you know deliver the message without the need to pay 1000 or as a uh, servant of a balear in this particular one i'm going to join a camp which is the reason why we allowed access to the upper quarters of uh, gomez's little empire you know the uh, mercenary will care 
and wield a seal which allow him to get deliver a message from the water mages to the fire magicians which will get you access to the upper quarters and as a, a sect you will um, have to sell some weed supplies you know for uh, for uh, Iberian to Gomez um, which also allows you access so basically paying a thousand or nuggets is uh, a relatively waste but uh, you know everyone has uh, their own choice to make so you have a problem really what's that there are people around here who want to get rid of you really then you can tell them they should send someone along to enforce their wish what makes you so sure I'm not the one to do it? Because I think you're smarter than that, boy. You'll soon realize that there are better opportunities than working for Gomez. We, too, need capable people in the new camp. And nobody tells you what to do. Tell me more about the new camp. It's the camp where you have the most freedom within the colony. We don't have any ore barons or gurus bossing us around. We have our own minds. But the ore that is produced there isn't given to the damn king. So what is it used for? Our magicians are working on a plan to break out of here. All the ore is collected for this plan. While Gomez and his people are lazing around, we drudge for freedom. That's what's going on. And if I wanted to join the new camp, could you help me? If you're serious, we can go now. I can take you to Laris. He's the head of our gang. But if you prefer to beat me out of the camp, well, go for it. Let's go to the new camp. Okay, follow me. So uh, the road to the new camp begins, and thus uh, getting... Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Show me your goods. Choose something. Wrong button. Let's go, man. Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. Now the main reason why I do this option is because it gives free XP. It requires no violence and it's easy. And it basically doesn't matter which side I will eventually join in all three of my playthroughs you know um, I did them all, all on all sides all possible options before actually joining a side so I don't have to XP grind as much as they can, uh, as I like to call it XP exploiting with the uh, summoning spell scrolls like summon skeleton, summon demon, summon golem those uh, give a uh, free XP, which is nice, but uh, it's a bit uh, too much, you know. But we'll see. This guy will have a high amount of strength requirement, as well as a bit of a dex. <laughs> because uh, dexterity is important for all three powers eventually. You know, the bow requires dexterity to wield it, and thus to shoot it. <laughs> Ah. 
You, you stole my kill, man. That, that's not. That's not very nice. differences where you can actually see the major 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 differences between the builds it's gonna be in gothic 3 hands down <laughs> of course the game is still the same on each path you know the choices that you make are only different but that's what every gothic game basically at least in the way I play it. Now make sure that as soon as you are going to enter, which is still a long way from now, but still, as soon as you enter the uh, temple of the uh, sleeper, the subterranean temple, um, make sure you bring about a bow or a crossbow because telekinesis doesn't work for switches and uh, you do need to hit switches in order to evade certain traps or activate certain things, you know. What are you doing out here? I'm a hunter. Above all, I hunt scavengers. Where will I get a bow? Here. I sell the best bows in the old camp. Show me your goods. Can you teach me something about hunting? That depends. What do you want to know? Um, I need the learning points for now. To learn how to skin animals from their trophies. You're stabbing yourself, man. Be careful with that knife. Sword, actually. But One second, my friend. <laughs> Never say no to free stuff, guys. Never. Unless it's free shit, you know, and then you can say you can keep it. Let's go, buddy. I have enough to learn everything about hunting, which cost me about, well, will cost me about 400 or give or take, 3 to 400.
Alright, so let's talk with Aiden here, learn a bit about hunting. Which will cost me only about 4 learning points, which means that I have 6 left for strength, which is good. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter. I make a living out of selling skins and teeth. Does it pay? If you know how to cut up the beast the right way, yeah. I want to learn how to cut up animals. What do you want to know? What do I have to observe while skinning reptiles? The only reptiles suited for this purpose are lurkers and swamp sharks. If you slit the skin at the sides, it'll peel off by itself. From now on, you should be able to skin reptiles. Show me how to take off the claws. Actually, it's quite simple if you know what to do. Bend the claws forward, never backwards. And you mustn't pull them out either. Lizard's claws are especially useful. From now on, you'll know which creature's claws to take. How can I skin these creatures? It's very important to skin them from the front to the back. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy. Furs are very valuable. The furs of wolves and shadow beasts can be used to make clothes. When you examine the fur of a killed animal, you'll soon notice if it can be used or not. How do I get the teeth? The most important thing is to make sure the teeth don't splinter. To avoid that, put your knife near the center of the tooth and lever it out carefully. You can take the teeth of wolves, shadow beasts, and snappers. Thanks. Which is another nice income for all. Which means all the things will only be easier, easier, and easier. Hey. Hi, where are you off to? We take the Minecrawler secretion from our brothers in the old mine to Kor Kalam. We go to the old mine every day to collect it. What kind of secretion is it? We obtain it from the mandibles of the Minecrawlers. If you know how to do it, you can take them out without losing the secretion. Can you tell me how to get the secretion of a Minecrawler? Of course. After you've killed the beast, you get hold of the mandibles and pull them straight out. This way, you'll get the secretion gland without destroying it. What does Korkalam need the secretion for? As far as I know, he makes a potion with it which increases the magic powers of a novice. Since we are preparing for the great invocation, he can't get enough of the stuff. With the aid of the potion, he'll prepare the novices for the great day. Have you enough of the potion for the great invocation of the sleeper? No, we still have to collect much more. Our mind crawler hunting units are in action day and night. Have you enough? All right, goodbye, my friend. Nearly at the new camp, guys, nearly. Them Templars took the kills. What a bunch of bastards. Don't you agree, Mordrag? Oh, let me. Hey, hey, don't push me. Hello? Well, here we are. When you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. Talk to Lars. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lars. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. See you. See you, man. All right. Oh, no. Bloodfly, stay away. No. Whoosh. God damn it. Oh, good. Good bloodfly. Can't handle them yet. 
I need a better armor for that one as well as a bit more strength wouldn't hurt. Alright, so let's go to the uh, old mine and do the quests there. Show the list to Ian after uh, to uh, Loris afterwards and uh, get it done. And I'm finger crossed that it doesn't <laughs> <bother me. laughs> relatively close to leveling up again which means that I am after the level up one level away from getting my uh, one handed to max <laughs> progress through the game a bit faster as well as uh, have lesser issues with the quests upcoming you know. aside from that I need a bit of strength estimately in total about a hundred um, to wield the best of the best weapon as a servant of Belial and then uh, beat the game pretty much after full stats you know as soon as I'm full stats it's very likely that I will not do certain quests like side quests which is one of the main reasons why I do them beforehand um, so that one I don't have to do the unimportant quests if needed you know um, like the Cro-Manon book if I need the XP I would do the Cro-Manon book if I don't need it then I won't you know I've completed it in my Adenos playthrough and uh, you guys can search that with the timestamp so you know don't really have to do it again but if I do need XP instead of XP exploiting by using summoning magic I will of course do first all the possible quests can you tell me anything about the mine well this part we're standing in now is the main shaft a system of catwalks takes you down to the bottom and they're digging for ore everywhere but you need to be careful there are many mine crawlers there as well Right at the bottom is the smelting place. We're smelting a part of the ore to use it right there. What do I need to look out for in the mine? Mine crawlers, mainly. Dangerous beasts. We've had to give up a few caves because of them. They've eaten quite a few diggers, too. Tell me about the crawlers. Oh, but my tongue's so dry. You bring me a beer, and I'll tell you something about the crawlers. Here, drink to my health. Thanks. Well, crawlers live in large packs, mostly in the side caves. They've never attacked us here in the main shaft yet. If you ever meet one of them, run. Or stand with your back to the wall. That way you may stand a chance. Tell me more about it. If you want to know more, go to Viper. He's the smelter. Or talk to Ian. He's the boss. He organizes everything here in the mine. Where can I find Ian? He's right in the middle of the main shaft, next to the storeroom. Oh, one more thing. You know Thoris, don't you? Forget him. There's just one person who has the say in here, and that's Ian. He's the boss. If you get into trouble with him, you'll be in trouble with us all. Understood? See ya. I understand, Drake. Alright, so let's see what this bugger has to sell. Can I trade things with you? I have everything you need. What I don't have is no use to you anyway. More ore would have been nice. Um, a bit more lockpicks perhaps, you know. Never too much to ask, I guess. 
guys in this mine and get that quest, complete that quest, which are relatively small quests, easy XP, and uh, then I will go to Ian. How's things? I have a deal to suggest. If you make Aaron leave the chest alone, I'll give you ten ore. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. What are you doing here? I'm watching diggers like snipes over there to make sure they keep their hands off my chest. Ian sent me. You should go to see him at once. What does he want? No idea. Ian will tell you that himself. Do you think he'd tell me something like that? Then I'll go to see him. And you do that. You owe me ten ore. Yeah, you've already earned the ten ore. Oh, and one more thing. I have the key to his chest as well. For you, only 30 ore. Give me the key. Do you make good business there? I just wonder what you get out of it. I'm always glad when I can get one over on the guards. And if they found the content of the chest with me, I'd be a dead man. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. No one lives forever, my friend. Gotta take risks in life, even if it means that your life is gonna turn to shit, total shit. You know, you gotta make choices. You gotta keep true to yourself. I'm not gonna shit and wait an idol while being enslaved to Gomez, to the Iberian, or to anyone basically. What's in the storeroom? That's none of your business. Standing around for so long must make you thirsty. You bet, man. I could use a good swig now. Got anything on you? Here you go. Have one on me as well. Thanks. Is there anything special in the storeroom now? Some chests that we store supplies in. The keys disappeared, though. Disappeared? I bet Aleph was involved. That guy can't be trusted. Listen, Ian and the others are sitting at the bottom having grilled meat. What? Without me? Well, I'll collect my share. Let me pass. Alright, so let's get the uh, Kuggy from, uh... What was his name again? I can't recall. Uh, fail. Just fail. All oh, right, Aleph, that was it. Wow.
<laughs> the guards will never get me. What do you mean? I only work when the guards are nearby, or they can see me. Otherwise, I just hang around here. Don't they get suspicious? Yeah, well, of course I dig less ore than all the others do. It's not always enough, so I have to do a bit of trading. I keep my ears open, so I get to know many useful things. You don't happen to have some ore on you. Let's say about ten ore. All right, here's ten ore for you. Thanks. If you go to the main shaft and follow the catwalks further down, you'll soon get to two side caves. There's a guard in the second one, and there's also an old masher. There's a healing potion lying about somewhere. But be careful, and beware of the crawlers. And if you need or hear something, come back to me. I'm sure I'll be able to help. Have you got any other useful information? Sure. Have you got ten ore? I expect good information for my ore. There's loads of locked chests here. Glenn, the digger at the top, can get you a couple of lock picks. Do you know anything about the key for the chest in the storage shed? Well, that depends. On how much ore I'll give you? You learn fast. Thirty ore should be enough. All right. I happen to have the key here. Good luck. Thank you. Well, you know where to find me. Thank you very much. All right, so let's get those uh, chests open. Sell the key that I bought from Snipes to Aaron for about 20 ore, which is nice. Free ore is always good. Which is uh, one day of protection money to Bloodwind and Jackal. Not that it really matters, but hey, you know, whatever. I'm still gonna pay it uh, just because it's a sign of a friendship, according to them, you know, especially according to Bloodwind. If I pay all, they're my mates. If I don't pay all, and then I can all rot for all they care, you know. But uh, I will just pay it since I will join the old camp, you know. But normally I would decline it, basically, most of the time. So uh, let's get these uh, chests of free loot. Well, it cost me about 30 or 200 back. I call it a good deal. Even with 50 or it's a good deal. A new face. Have you ever dug ore, boy? Have you been here long? I've already been here 10 years. Oh, believe me, I've learned and experienced quite a lot here. I've encountered many dangers and managed to stay alive. In the old times, when we worked in the abandoned mine, the one which is deserted now, and the supporting beams collapsed. But that's old stories. You must have heard about many escape plans as well. Listen, boy. I know you want to get out of here, but forget it. You better forget the thought of escape. I saw the faces of those who tried to get out of the barrier. Don't make the same mistake. The barrier will stop everybody. I don't want to dig in the mine for the next ten years of my life. No, you won't. Perhaps you'll be one of the real big shots. <laughs> who knows? You'll work your way up. But no matter how far you'll get, the barrier will finally stop you. Not if Good I can luck. help it. Same to you, boy. Same to you. I will send that barrier back to Kingdom Scum. Hey, you! If you try to make a fool out of me again, you've had it. You got that? Ooh, scary, man. Hey, don't you miss the key to your chest? Indeed. I don't even want to guess how or why you know about the key. But I'll give you 20 ore if you get it back for me. Here's your key. Yeah, that's it. Well, here's your 20 ore like we agreed. But you'd better watch out in future. From now on, I'll be keeping an eye on you. You do that, man. Hey, you. There was no grilled meat at all. Oh, um, 
I guess I must have been mistaken. Have a good day. Let me pass. Are you Ian, the boss of the mine? Yeah, I'm Ian. And this is my mine. So don't touch or break anything. Diego sent me. I'm to collect the list. All right. Here's the list. Tell him to hurry up with the deliveries. Isn't that Gomez's mine? Yeah, of course. This is the mine of the old camp. But in here, there's only one boss, and that's me. Can you tell me something about the ore production here? We dig for ore day and night. This means a storage of 200 sacks per month, and another 20 sacks which will be melted down. Hundreds of blades can be forged with the ore we supply to the king. I've heard that the ore has magical qualities. Tell me about it. The magic ore does have special qualities. Weapons forged from it don't break. Their blades are sharper than usual ones. An army equipped with these weapons has a decisive advantage in battle. Tell me more about the ore. Unfortunately, the magic powers of the ore vanish during the smelting process. They know the right smelting technique in the blast furnaces of Nordmar. But even without the magic powers, weapons made from this ore are extremely resistant and do more damage than normal weapons. Tell me about the mine. If you want to look around here, you need to be careful. There are mine crawlers in the caves. You better stay in the main shaft and leave the Templars alone. Even if they only hang around most of the time, they're the best fighters you can ever have at your side when it comes down to the crawlers. I'll keep that in mind. I have some work to do, and don't keep my boys from doing their work. I'll just have a look around here. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. Goodbye. Goodbye, mine. See you later with the mine crawler queen. But for now, goodbye. Alright, so let's uh, deliver Ian's list to Loris in the new camp. And uh, get quickly back to uh, the old camp. Do the whole amulet quest, you know, as I prefer to call it, the ambush quest. And uh, it gets the approval to uh, meet up with Gomez. However, I will not join them yet. Uh, episode 2 is going to be the new camp and episode 3 is going to be the um, the sect camp but I will do those uh, tomorrow because it's already um, 3 a.m. so it's a bit late you know not a good time to do a uh, commentary things but um, since I'm uh, nearly finished I'm not gonna stop now just because people are annoyed by it you know fuck that shit so far so I guess I speak softly enough which is the only new camp quest that I will compl complete and then I will deliver it to Diego Forrest's quest done the vanquished guard, you know, vanished guard is bugged already have completed it, already gave the um the necklace to Sly as well as tell uh, Fletcher that the uh, neck is D-E-A-D -E and um, it's still in the quest list which is a bit weird but whatever you know and um, basically gets the approval to join Gomez's men however I will not join just yet not yet <laughs> Because I have an arena to beat, you know, which is, uh, which will be done 
basically in the episode, which is gonna rather typically be a short one, but uh, you know, it will be in, in episode, um, let me say it correctly, four, I think, um, which is going to be admission to the old camp as well as to the old camp quests. You know, the whole uh, Minecrawler Queen, the Focus Stone, etc. First, the old camp, the new camp, and the sect camp quests. The important ones, the major ones. There must be now, I'm going to try to avoid that. that lefty because that's for the new camp quests. You think? Let's talk about something else instead. People always talk, maybe. I really hope that the uh, mic isn't visited again, otherwise to redo another two hours. Do you intend to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sect loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. What do the mercenaries do? We, we are the mercenaries of the Water Mages. Our target is to break free from here. We're working hard for it, and don't plan to take things easy like the guys from the old camp who are just having an easy time resting on the backs of the diggers. And we all follow Lee. He's a great man. He's the one who holds this damn camp together. Watch your back. See, I will talk with him later in the uh, new camp episode. I accidentally pressed that uh, particular option, but that's okay. You know, the only reason why I'm here is to deliver, well, show Lores the old camp list of supplies. And the thing is that Diego knows about Lester, which is why he mentioned it, that I it shouldn't, it on you know, it. show it to the guys in the new camp. Because he's in cahoots well, with the new wall. Raid the supplies, you know. Now where are you going? Right. Would you look at that, guys? I can see right through the wall. Wall hack. Where can I go? To Laris. I want to see Laris. I doubt he'll talk to you. Just you leave that to me. I won't stop you. You just did, dumb man. Where do you want to go? I want to meet Laris. Laris is here. But you need a good reason to disturb him. I have the list of requirements for the old mine. Not bad. How'd you get it? Ian gave it to me. You got a nerve? So they sent you to test me, did they? Thoris must already be going mad, I'm sure. Diego gave me the order. Diego does what Thoris tells him to. If I know him, he'd die laughing if he knew that she was here. Can I get in there now or not? Just go on in. Laris won't believe his eyes. You don't say, Roscoe. Rely on somebody. Hang on. Never mind going rushing into anything. I want to join your gang. Oh, yeah? What have you got to show for yourself then? I have the list of requirements for the old mine on me. No, I don't believe it. I must say, you do seem to have a nerve. Show me. Here it is. Indeed. Do you know what we're gonna do with it? We'll add to it, and you'll take the list back to the old camp. Then, when they deliver the stuff to the mine, we'll mug them and take the lot. It won't take a minute. <laughs> Here's the list. You know what to do. Shitting in the shoe. That's what I You did. again. Shut up, Roscoe. I was having fun. You know, god damn it. I know what to do, shitting in the shoe. And say a whoop de doo. At any rate, let's uh, deliver this quest. And let's do the amulet little side quest. And then uh, finally done. At least, 
if the mic doesn't uh, buzz again, which is uh, really, really effing annoying. It's just majorly annoying. But I'm sure you guys understand. There was a time when things would have gone very differently. I can learn how to sneak, or I will keep the learning points to master one-handed. I will keep the learning points. I'm gonna invest about six into strength, if I can wield a better weapon, which I found at the uh, chest of the smithy in the second. Just though I have a couple of blades for which I will use you to purchase myself the uh, two armor types which you can get in the old camp just as a uh, collectible I didn't do that with my path of Enos, um, nor with my path of Adenos but uh, since I've been doing it with Gothic 3 you know um, in order to make thumbnails etc I'm also gonna do that with this not to make thumbnails because the uh, thumbnails of a uh, Gothic 1 Gothic 2 you know except for Gothic 3 will be all about uh, praying at the statue of Enos or praying at the statue of Balear you know or in Adonos's case a praying at the statuette of Adonos if there is a statuette of Adonos otherwise I have to find a different method of getting a screenshot from Gothic 1, Gothic 2 one and the same screenshot you know but a bit more detail not about this game in Gothic 3 but um the character looks of each particular path is uh, way better there than it is in here. I could make, you know, thumbnails for this game as well, manually. But the options amount of armors is uh, way less than you can get in um, Gothic 3. Uh, which is, uh, you know, too bad. But it is what it is, more water than fish. You know what it is, guys? You know what it is. Uh, there is more water than fish, and you cannot deny that fact. Because it's fact. So let's see, you know, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed that actually is gonna work this time without the buzzing in my mic. <sighs> Otherwise, I have to redo again about two hours of gameplay not all that new you know I beat it this game quite a lot um, even on my old YouTube channel I have completed all three parts but um you know I had to redo them because uh, my old channel got hacked you know and I wanted to re-download the, all those videos and just copy paste the timestamps etc to make things a bit more easier for my newer channel but it took ages to download one video let alone all of them you know so I decided it to redo everything everything hey you aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp what if I am I could help you and how there are two guys sitting around outside the camp one of them has stolen something from the ore barons it's a precious amulet which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. Why do you say? What will happen when we have the amulet? That's an easy one. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you helped me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? Count me in, maybe. All right, just tell me when we can start. I'm ready to go with you. Let's get the amulet. Okay, let's do it then. There must be something about it. Just gonna pretend that I'm not knowing that this is an ambush, because if they really stole an amulet, from the city, from this old camp. They would have sent the guards, you dumb idiot. You think I would fall for that, hmm? But you really think you can handle me, my friend? I doubt it. 
uh, just the case, hey? So, here we are. Far away from your friend Diego. I'm to send you regards from Bloodvin. Try that again, and you'll regret it. You don't have any ore? Doesn't seem to be your lucky day today. Really? It's not my lucky day today, How I, mu I must admit. I didn't expect the damage, but I've got to train my strength, but that's fine. Karma is a bitch, my friends. Karma is a, a bitch. to my axe. Did that bugger loot my axe? He didn't good. Don't panic! You've won! He's had enough! Run to mama, idiot. So let's train my strength. But first I'm gonna teach that Grim a lesson. A lesson that he will not forget. Leave everything you hear. It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. I wouldn't like to be in his. So you idiot, black. just wanted to trap me. Hey, man, we're sitting in the same boat. I am not into digging in the mines either, so I'll do what the guards tell me. Then I'll be accepted soon. That I should whack you, of all people, is your own fault, really. Why did you have to start a bloody fight with the guards? Personally, I don't dislike you. So what do you think? Peace or further fighting? I don't uh, peace with backstabbers. I feel like fighting. Oh man, you get me down. What are you Try that again, and you'll regret it. Ready? You don't even have any ore in your pockets. Uh, nope. I dropped it. That won't happen again. Every time. Karma will be a bitch, Grim. You're gonna wait for my man. You got lucky. If you think twice. Maybe. The Some third time is not gonna be so lucky. Believe everything you hear. Which I would do I once I got my armor. Never learn. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. That's really not my problem. Let's talk about something else instead. People I always talk. Karma will strike He's back up. as soon as the timing is right. I have the list from Ian. Well done! That'll get you a few brownie points. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? Scatty has told me he's anxious to see how you come off against Kurgo. And he's anxious to see if you'll challenge Karim. Whistler told me the story about Fisk. Well, if I was you, I would have taken the ore and cleared off. But anyway, he thinks a great deal of you. Sly told me that you found Neck. He seemed to be really content. Fingers told me that you've already learned a bit, but he thinks you can still improve your skills. You've really managed to get the recipe from Kalom. Dexter is very impressed, and so am I. The business with Mordrag is really quite a job. He's not bad as a warrior. You should exercise if you really want to defeat him. All things considered, that's not too bad for a newcomer. Can you teach me something? Yeah. Your strength has increased a lot. Come back soon. 
There are many things you need to learn. Forgot to, uh, Take care. Deliver the quest to Thoris. He's never going to show his face around here again. I'd have felt happier if you'd killed him. Killing isn't everything, my friend. If you Alright, so let me get me some, some digger trousers. And get me a day ration of food. You better give it to me. No, I don't want to cook. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions. Very generous. Now, what did I want to do again? All oh, right, the the armors, the digger trousers, which I would get free. Well, I still have to pay for it, but I will get the all back. There must be something about that story after all. Don't bother with that chest, it's empty. You shouldn't believe everything. No need to check it. You can check it, but I'm pretty sure it's empty. Same old story, every Wouldn't like to be an issue that Totally idiotic. That won't happen. So we're nearly at the end, guys. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys uh, for watching. I will still get the armors, no worries. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you like what you see, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you do, hit the uh, notification bell. But, uh, keep in mind. And uh, sometimes I will upload a lot, so uh, just a heads up on that. And uh, feel free to like or dislike whatever you deem worthy of giving this video, any video. Um, as well as, you know, uh, feel free to leave positive or negative comments on my videos as well. That's entirely up to you. Here is gonna hit, I always say, you know, but, um, uh, feedback of any kind is welcome, basically, you know. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're not at the end yet, but well, at least I've got that part done, you know. Alright, so let me quickly get the uh, dr digger trousers. You shouldn't believe people never learn. And, I'm not uh, listening to all the blathering. Really then we can start the questing Maybe. in the next episode in the new camp. Jolly. You looking for trouble with me again? Wasn't very clever. Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Give me the light digger's trousers. A good choice. Give me the digger. Come. But keep it to yourself. Show me your goods. That's ever likely to change. Wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. Mm. The worst shit. There was a time I think when my current tanks is bad, I'm not sure. I'd better keep out of it. I'm not listening to your blathering anymore. Rely on somebody it and you're in trouble. That's that how it goes. Trouble ahead. <laughs> Same old story every learn. time. Hang on. There was a time when things were going very well. Have you got well? Give me the digger's trousers. A good choice. I doubt that's ever like my problem. This one, which is a bit bulked, as you can see at the waist, and this one. The better version. Show me.
There we go. And then the armor back. Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, the end of the episode. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I hope uh, to see you guys next time uh, in the episode of the new camp quests. Which gonna take about, estimately, about the same amount of time. Because uh, there are a lot of quests. And I will obviously uh, complete them all. So thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell, thumbs up, thumbs down. Positive or negative feedback, anything is welcome. And, um, you know, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. So, good night, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.